Now I don't have any wood to knock on, but this feels great. Still plenty of roll rate. I heard something weird. I'm not sure what that was. Let's see if we can hear it again. Didn't hear it that time. I'm wondering if the door might be like fluttering or something a little bit. All right, let's start to shoot some approaches here before the battery gets too low. And I will be putting it in the grass if I can't get it down within like five go arounds probably. My battery alarm is set at 3.6 volts. There's my battery alarm, so that means I got five go-rounds from this point. I'm gonna have to get it real low, but I don't want to go too low. It's on the ground. I think we're going off the end. Into the arrestor grass. Perfect. It's back on the ground in one piece. Let's get it on the pavement here and see if there's any damage. Underside looks fine. That's what I should have done in the first place, I guess. I'm gonna dial the roll rate down again and then we'll go for flight two. The goal for this flight is gonna be to expand the performance envelope. So we're gonna do more full throttle stuff, maybe try and get a max airspeed reading. We're gonna do some stall tests, we're gonna pull some G's, and we're gonna see what it can do. Oh, I think I got, I can see I got some canard flutter going on there. That's not good. That's probably what I was hearing on the first flight there. Um, it was the right canard that was fluttering there. I could hear it and see it. So try and keep speed down from now on. It's still going. All right, I think we're gonna land as soon as we can. So that's not good. I think I lost that canard servo. It's down. There we go. It looks like I still got the servo, but you can see that something isn't quite right. Is it like hitting here? You can see that it got bent and stuff by the creases in the foam from air elasticity or whatever the heck happened here. It looks like it was just diverging up here and trying to rip itself off, so. I'm glad I caught that. So to deal with that, I'm thinking we need either stiffeners in the, the canard that go this way, front to back, to keep this part from coming up here. And or we could also shift the um, pivot point forward on the canard. Of course, we can't really move the pivot point very easily, so what we'd have to do is actually make new canards and have them either swept back further or be bigger and swept back further. Just something to move the um, the center pressure of the canard further back. It'll be interesting to see too on the data if there's any like oscillations in the accelerometers, like high frequency stuff that we'll be able to see. So these guys right here are just taped on. I'll uh, get those glued on and then we'll get those new canards back on there and then I can continue with the rest of the flight testing program. So overall, I'm happy with how today went. We got two successful test flights. Um, we discovered some more issues with our airframe that we're gonna have to work out. So until then, I'll see y'all next time.